I'm Danny. Welcome to Sports Fix. This week in the run-up to Christmas and the New Year, we'll be looking at two of Britain's sporting heroes of 2008. Today we're going to focus on our speed demons. First up is Lewis Hamilton. The 23-year-old has been the centre of attention since clinching the Formula One World Championship in Brazil last month. And it seems he still can't quite get used to it. It's always a surprise, you never know what to expect and so you, you'll be sitting on the plane you don't know what's going to happen. I, I saw my team and the, the reception I got from my team was great but also the fans, just general public, every time I see them, um, just really great job, so proud of you, sitting on the edge of the seat. So it's just great to see that they went through the same uh, experiences as, as, as I did. In fact, now he's achieved his ambition, Hamilton has decided to pack it in and become a London cabbie. Of course, we're only joking. Lewis was in fact promoting a Don't Drink and Drive campaign in the run-up to Christmas. So now he's become world champion in only his second season in Formula One. What's next for the McLaren man? Well, I'm world champion now, and going into my second, uh, into my third season of Formula One, um, there's a lot less pressure on me. We're going to enjoy it. Make sure we enjoy it more, and uh, definitely try not to leave it to the last corner if, if that's possible. <laughs> Well, from one of the fastest men with four wheels, we move on to the king of two. Scottish cyclist Chris Hoy goes head-to-head -head with Lewis Hamilton at the race of the champions at Wembley Stadium in a contest being billed as man versus machine. He's going to be in his McLaren SLR road car and I'm going to be on my bike, so it's not, it doesn't seem like a, a fair race on, on the surface of it. Um, but I believe they're going to make him do like a Le Mans style start and run to get into his car. Um, I'm going to do a flying start and there's going to be an extra chicane for him to go through, so hopefully it'll maybe level it out. Um, it's going to be a tough race, but it's, it's all a bit of fun, and um, it's, for me it's a great honour to be there and racing in front of what will be my biggest crowd I've ever competed in front of. 2008 has been an incredible year for Hoy, becoming the first Brit in 100 years to win three gold medals at a single Olympic Games. On one hand, it just seems perfectly normal to be referred to as, you know, the Beijing Triple Olympic gold medalist. And other times, sometimes you hear someone say that and you think, hang on a minute, that's three, you know, three Olympic gold medals in one Olympic Games, it doesn't seem real. Um, and, you know, I'll sometimes look at the medals and just, you've almost got to pinch yourself to realise you've actually achieved that. And it, it was what, it was the target, it was what I wanted to do, but, it, you know, to actually do it and to have it as your target and to actually do it, it's two entirely different things and it's, yeah, it's something I'm very proud of and you know, it was a, an amazing experience. Britain cyclists won 14 medals including 8 goals at Beijing and Hoy believes the team will only get better. Well, I've, I've every confidence we're going to move on. You know, we've got so many, the reason that it's going to get better is we've got so many young riders coming through. Personally, I've been pushed on by the, the young athletes that have you know, been fighting for places in the team and I've had to really raise my game just to stay in the team and it's going to be the same for the next four years. There's so much talent and, and they've got the, the support, they've got the, the sort of clear pathway to progress through the ranks and um, for that reason alone you know, I think the British cycling couldn't be in a, a healthier state. Boy says he wants to be part of Team GB in 2012. In fact, he's got his sights set on beating Sir Steve Redgrave's British record of five Olympic gold medals. We certainly wouldn't bet against it. That's all for now. We'll be back next week with more of the year's sporting heroes.